That would be grand. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, that down there. Okay. America's the funniest hot city owes. I'm America's the funniest hot city owes. We're here to celebrate our 20th anniversary show. We know you will enjoy this with the utmost gusto. We got videos and Doritos for jokes and more. So please sit down with the tall brandy and your favorite bow. We know you will not leave without a metaphorical plant to sow. It's time to enjoy in America's funniest hot city. America's funniest hot city house. Pretty please then more. I think that was a good take, boys. And welcome Woo! to the twentieth episode of America's Funniest Hot <gasps> Videos. <gasps> Twenty whole episodes for doing. Holy shit! A, a theme because everybody loves a theme party even in quarantine. Because yes, we're still here. Um, we are some of Hot City. Obviously, it's not the whole team, but we're some of the team. I'm Jordan. Let's introduce ourselves. Hey, I'm Alex. I'm Austin. I'm Lauren. I'm Emily. And most importantly, I'm Victor. And I'm going to pass this first off to Alex Hoffman. Woo! Well, hey, I usually spend my days in the back running tech here, but I'm just going to pop in here at the top two set up this first video it is one of our classics from when we first started back at the start of quarantine and we thought it wasn't gonna last long uh i made this Those were the to uh compare godzilla and the coronavirus and how we would react differently feel free to point out in the comments what is still relevant and what i was dead wrong about several months ago here it is and now godzilla redubbed for 2020 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the Tokyo City Council, as you can see, Godzilla is getting closer. We have to do something! Yes, which is why I propose we move all the citizens of Tokyo into lockdown and into emergency kaiju shelters for at least eight weeks until we know he's defeated. Brilliant! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we start getting cuckoo bananas, what about the economy? Can we really afford to go that long without me and the other business boys making money? What, are you crazy? I'm just saying, the cure can't be worse than the kaiju. Losing money is not worse than being killed by Godzilla. Sure, but Godzilla only destroys 10% of the city on average. Most of us will be fine. Look, Godzilla's right outside. Ah! Ooh, Ooh, what? what? Sure, he's here, but come on, we're young and healthy. Even if he destroys this building, we can climb out of the rubble. Fuck that! Run! Whatever, I'm special and nothing bad can happen to me. Ho oh, ho! Uh, yes, I thought quarantine would last eight weeks at most. Uh, I was wrong. Um, but you know, I thought to myself, what would let's let's check on on those guys and see where they're at now with their with their Godzilla problem. What do you guys say? You want to see where they're at now? Yeah, uh, really? We can't. Yeah. Let's oh do my it. God. Let's do it. Yes. And now. Hey, on tech technical technical difficulty, I'm. I on Co coming right up. One sec, one sec. Oh, bear with us, folks. The magic of technical difficulties. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Shit, guys, it's almost here. I swear. I swear. Shit. Shit. Shitty. Shit. Fucking. Here it is. 
Alright council members, I'm pleased to provide you all with an update on the ongoing kaiju crisis. As you know, our plan of doing nothing and hoping Godzilla goes away didn't quite work. In fact, since then, we've been hit by a second wave of monsters. But there is some positive news. Stocks are at an all-time high, people can technically eat at restaurants, and school reopening is going great for most of the kids. And I've got more good news. We finally have a plan to end all this suffering. Stimulus checks? Are we enforcing a mandatory national kaiju quarantine? No, that sounds like socialism. What we're doing is strategically putting all of our eggs in one basket by investing our public health funding into the private sector to build, drumroll please, prrr, a Mecha Godzilla. That's your plan? Oh, God. We're all gonna die. We're not gonna die. The Mecha Godzilla will save us. Just watch. Oh well, we tried. Who wants to go get hot wings at Chili's? After all, restaurants are technically back open! Whoa, I better go back to running the tech thing so I stop fucking them up. I'll see you guys at the end of the show. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> that was our intern. I don't even know his name. I think, it, I think it's Andrew. Uh, mm -hmm. That sounds about right. Yeah. 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 Alejandro. All right. Well, passing it to Lauren with the top five. And now Shirtless the Dave moments. Yes. What? Top five times Dave has been shirtless for a sketch. After a year of pitching this, y'all finally let me do it. First up, we got number five. It's up. Shirtless Dave. Now, I almost didn't count this one because he is not fully shirtless. However, I am next to him revealing some part of under the shirt. And so like the Spice Girls say, two became one. This is the this is the top five time day that, that Dave has been shirtless. Yes. Is that a tattoo? Uh, yeah, those were the tattoos that we got to support Sean. <gasps> oh, wow. That felt like 10 years ago. Yeah, it really does. It really does feel like quite a while ago. Now mm -hmm. let's see number four. All right, number four. This was actually just from two weeks ago. This was when Dave was playing one of the devil's minions. And let me just say, they say a low angle is not flattering and I disagree. Cheers <laughs> to this Dave shirtless moment. Thank you so much, Dave. It feels no, like that improv know. game. That these are five things. <laughs> this is Shirtless Dave. Now, Shirtless Dave number three is actually from one of our very first sketches called uh, The Men Who Have Wronged Me with Susan from HR. As you can say, see, I was Susan having a real trouble finding an HR problem with Shirtless Dave here because can you see that face? Look at his face. If, if you can, zoom in on his face. And then zoom in on my face because I am holding a glass because I am thirsty. Yes, thank you very much. Let's take a look at number two. Oh, <laughs> Emily is a lucky girl in this sketch. This was the BDSM boyfriend sketch. Yeah. Uh, let's just say, you know, it's it, when your face is covered but your nips are not, that's always a win in my book unless there is a better winner, in which case this takes number two. Let's see number one. Number one is, oh, Dorito Boy. The wig. All time favorite. <laughs> Dorito uh, Boy. Dorito Boy. Wow, what is there to be said about Dorito Boy? The shorts, the, the fanny pack. pack, the shock collar, the Beatles bowl cut wig. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Steve, we applaud you. We applaud your commitment. And we applaud your shirtless moments. Let's give it up for Dave. And let's watch Dorito Boy. Oh, yeah, we love you, Dave. <laughs> oh, 
Marsha's glass is empty. That means you have to go into Deb's wine cellar to get more mummy juice. <laughs> Me? Alone in a wine cellar? Fox in the hen house, Mom? Ah! Yeah, a cheap bottle, like $200 or under. <laughs> you're trash. of Diet Nothings and Gouda, I'm going to try the new Hot Pepper Jack Spicy Doritos. Oh! oh a DNA bad. test, you are 100% that beast. <laughs> oh, look at the Doritos. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. A Dorito boy! <laughs> Deb, what is this? It's my Dorito boy. He you finds my Doritos. Your Dorito bowl? Yes. <laughs> he finds my Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is absurd. Next thing you're going to tell me to vote for some socialist Democrat like Klobuchar. <laughs> it's not absurd. You have a Dorito boy. You have help. You have a gardener, a maid. Well, I have a Dorito boy who finds my Doritos. I guess I have a bocce ball polisher, yes. <laughs> Dorito boy, he finds my Doritos. Go on, boy, go find them. I just, I can't imagine needing to find Doritos enough to justify a Dorito boy. You know how big our walking pantry is. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, Dorito boy, did he just make a dolphin noise? He's using echolocation. Grab it. I don't want to be rude, but why do you have so much? <laughs> Why do you have so much trouble finding your Doritos? Oh, oh, so I guess that I am wrong. Sorry for giving him work because I am a job creator. <laughs> Why the shop collar then? To keep him out of the neighbor's Doritos. <laughs> I mean, he hit me with a bag of Doritos. Did no one see <laughs> Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Mark, <laughs> oh, I, I can't believe you bought a Dorito Boy. I know it's a little bit weird, okay, but was this or Pool Boy? And Pool Boy won't help me find Doritos. <laughs> Why does everyone in this house have trouble finding the Doritos? If it's like a matter of vision, my Gary can help. He just got his license back, so. <laughs> Not necessary. All right, you girls have fun. I'm going to do some very illegal inside trading. <laughs> you know, I, I have to say something. I have to speak truth to power. Now, I don't care if Indian children in sweatshops make my clothes or that African children in my shops dig for my diamonds. But this white injustice will not stand. Marsha, free him! With my hands? Yes! What are you doing? Destroy the shot collar! Okay. Let him go! You're free! No, don't go, boy! Stay! Marsha, be firm! Go! Be with your own kind! Can't you see? We don't want you here anymore! Run, Brian! Run, Brian! He's free! Oh, you bitch! <laughs> we did a good thing! <laughs> sleep over Get Out. They thought Parasite was unrelatable. 
In 2020, white people will finally face their biggest fear. Grace, so good to see you. Grace? Grace hasn't lived here in 15 years. I'm her cousin. You must be confusing us. Oh, well, you two look so much alike. We don't, actually. I'm so sorry. Please don't say that I'm- Racist? God, please. No, take it back. Anything but that. Finally, a film that will scare the privilege right out of you. It's the silver BMW with the vanity plates, and could you please hurry? I'm running late. I'm not the valet. What? You think I'm the valet because I'm fucking Mexican? Don't you mean Latinx? So now you're gonna white explain me on what I should be called? What? You, you, you do realize how racist that sounds, right? Please, I'm not like that. I love Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Pinche güera. Pinche güera. güera. Would you relax? I said I'd be careful. You don't understand. This thing is everywhere and it always finds you. And then what? It cancels you. Critics are saying, I regret watching this alone in my 15 bedroom house and harder to handle than Pico de Gallo. Uh, it'll probably be faster if we hit the bridge, if that's okay. If you say so. I hope you're one of the good ones. One of the good what? Uber drivers. Oh. Okay. Coming to Disney Plus, White Mare. Because no matter how good you think you are, you can't hide the darkness within. Oh, wait, that sounded bad. I didn't mean, like, dark, like, you know, like, skin, I just, you know, no, never mind, never mind, oh, cut, cut! Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome. My name is James Lipton. And today on Inside the Actors Studio, if you could give me a moment, I am still quite old. As you all know, some thought I passed away, but I actually sometimes need my script still. So give me just a moment as I open that up. Uh, just a moment. This whole, this whole technology thing is not James Lipton's strong suit, as you can tell. Good evening. As I said, I am James Lipton. And welcome, welcome for another invigorating segment of Inside the Actors Studio. You've seen our next actress light up the Twitch screen in roles such as girl in Insane Asylum, girl eating hot peppers, girl who fists wine, and girl masturbating to pictures of a shirtless Dave, as you saw before. Please welcome everyone, Mrs. Lawrence Schott. Thank you, thank you, James. Thank you, Lauren. Now, we're dying to know, how did you bring these characters to life? Well, James, I pull a lot uh, from my personal experiences. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. And could you give us an example of one of these personal experiences? Yes, um, you'll recall Diane. I'm sorry, uh, Diane? Yes, Diane from the White Man trailer we, we just viewed. Diane Francis Cunningham. Diane Francis Cunningham. Well, was, was that name in, in the script? No, no. The script just said girl who screams in Uber ride, but I learned her name the more I got to know her, you know? Ah, oh, wow. Yes, wonderful. What else do you know about Mrs. Diane? Diane is bright, confident, smart, though 
At times, she can be just so conceited. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, fascinating, fascinating. She really is. You know, she will, she will follow me for the rest of my career. No matter who else I play, I think I will always be known as Diane Francis Cunningham, the girl who screamed in an Uber ride. <laughs> but it's fine, because I love it. I, I fought for that role. It was well earned. Well oh, earned. Thank you. Thank you, blessings. She's the one I relate to the most. Uh, how so? Oh, where to begin? Uh, we both grew up in the Midwest. Mm. We're both pescatarians. We're both Scorpios. Well, Scorpio. Oh, happy uh, almost birthday. Are you talking to her or to me? Oh, well, by God, I, I guess I lost sight of where she ends and you begin. <laughs> Welcome to my life, James. <laughs> oh, oh, so, Lauren, is Diane here with us then? May, may we speak to her, if not? Of course. Um, yes, just just one moment. Of course, take your time, take your time. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the actor prepares, the actor prepares. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Thank wow. You. Wow. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Thank Fantastic. You. Fantastic, Lauren. Thank you. Or Diane. I don't know who. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. And now it's time for a game of Real or No Real 20s Cocktails Edition. Here's your host, Austin Chow. Hello! Hello, everyone, and welcome to Real or No Real, the only game where contestants get to guess what's real and what's fake. Last episode of Real or No Real, we did butts. And it turns out every member of Hot City has had absolutely gorgeous ass implants put in. I thought I was the only one. Anyway, today's theme is 20s Cocktail Edition. What do you say we meet our contestants? First up, from Boulder, Colorado, it's Lauren. Ah, hey, Lauren, how are you? I'm great. Check out my soccer mom arms. Look at those arms. They're beautiful. All right, also from Boulder, Colorado, it's Victor. What's up, Victor? How you doing, bud? Hey, uh, I'm OK, but I'm not from Boulder, Colorado. Shut up, uh, Victor. And okay. finally, also from Boulder, Colorado, it's Emily. Hey, Emily, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Um, I, I, sorry, I drank my drink already. Was that what we were supposed to do? Uh, no, oh, no, yeah, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. You're e supposed to down that drink so, in one. Exactly. Emily, Emily, aren't you from Texas? Um, Victor, why, you, what have you heard? Victor, you shut the fuck up. What do you okay. have against Boulder, I'm sorry. Victor? I'm sorry. I'm so okay. All right, the game is simple. I provide a list of Jesus names of cocktails from the 20s, and when it's your turn, you guess which one is real. If you get it uh, right, you get one point. Sorry, points are scarce because of COVID. Uh, whoever has the most points at the end wins. All right. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I know it. I'm going to win. No real. Round one. Lauren, which of these drinks is real? A, vodka skimmer. B, gin Ricky. C, a rum fister or D, a grub bubbler? A. Well, first I want to say a rub. What was the last one? A rub gubbler? Rub bubbler. Rub bubbler. Um, I definitely have had that one before, but it could have been it could have been something that was made up on the spot. I'm going to go with C. No, it was B, Jen Ricky. No wow. problem, Lauren. Damn All it. Right. Next you're, up. You're not good at this. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Which of these is real, Victor? A, My Don the Gillicuddy. Don the Gillicuddy, cool. cool. A Mary Pickford. C, Come Robinson. Come or Robinson. D, Dick Festerson. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, the Mary Pickford uh, must be real. I mean, it was a famous actress. It, it, it makes sense. It, she was married to the sword guy. I can't remember his name. Neither uh, can I. It's B, Mary Pickford. Victor has one point. Lauren has zero. 
Can Emily pull ahead? No, because Ooh. no round one, but let's see what happens. Emily, here are your four drinks. All right. A, a bee's knees. B, a grasshopper's popper. C, a ladybug ass. Or D, tick dick. Which one isn't real? Yeah, which one isn't real? No, no, no. Which one is real? <laughs> which one is real? I don't yep. know. I've definitely had all of those. Oh, I, I especially feel like I've had that last one. Um, Dick. I feel like I've had that, but maybe it's maybe it's A. I'm going to go A, bees knees. You got it right. Emily, you got a point. All right. Yes. The end of round yes. one. Lauren's got zero. Victor's got one. Emily's got one. What will happen? Anything could happen in round two. All right. Back Anything. to Lauren. Can you redeem yourself? All right. Here are your four drinks. A, Tom Collins. B, Rob Thomas. C, Tim Robbins. D, Bob Saggots. Oh my God. I've definitely had all of those inside me at some point. Mm -hmm. well, um, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to wing it. A, Tom Collins. Tom Collins, she got it right, folks. Lauren's got one on the board. All right, Victor, can you do, can What's you up? can you pull ahead with two points? We'll find out. I Which can always pull real? ahead. A, a Hemingway special. B, a Faulkner Deluxe, C, a Wolf Wunderbar, or D, Fitzgerald Scrote. Holy shit, that's a hard one. Uh, ooh, the first one was, can you repeat the first one for me? Hey, Hemingway Special. I know Hemingway was a famous alcoholic, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess Hemingway Special. Hey, you got it right, Victor. Victor's got two friggin' points. Emily, Emily, uh -huh. what are you gonna do? It's your it's your round three. Are you ready? Which of these, is, yes. which of these is real? A, a sidecar, B, a ride share, C, a Tide Pod, or D, a dad bod. I know that all of those things are in theory real. He's not wrong. But, but, but uh, for the sake of this game, I guess I'm gonna have to say that it's definitely A. The sidecar, she got it right. <laughs> Lauren's got one, what's gonna happen? Now it's time for round three, our deluxe round. All of these points, if you get this one right, you get three points. So Lauren could still pull ahead. Oh, I hell know. yeah. I know. All right, Lauren, no, time to redeem yourself. We have a few extra answers on this one. Uh, and we're not just doing the four drinks like we have in the past. This one, we got a few more. So get ready. Oh, shit. <laughs> Which of these drinks is real? A, a hunky dory. B, a hanky panky. C, slippy bippy. D, slappy bappy. E, dinky <laughs> donkey. F, spinky spunky, G, spittle spat, spootin' dat, <laughs> H, scoot dat and scat and spatin, baby girl. You know, Austin, sometimes I get drunk just listening to your voice. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna say the dinky donkey. The dinky donkey is not correct. It was the Damn hanky it. panky. Lauren, yeah. you only got one point, but maybe uh, there's, you definitely came in third. Sorry, Lauren, but <laughs> let's find out who's gonna win. Is it gonna be Victor or Emily? Victor, you're up next. We might All have right, to have a sudden death, be... Austin. I don't know if you built that into this game, but we, if we tie, there's no ties. We got to have a sudden death. Oh, Sorry. the, the <gasps> ooh, I built it in the game. Don't worry. All right. A, which of these is real, okay? A, a Peck 45. B, a Kiss 55. C, a Smooch 65. D, a French 75. E, a Real Wet Tongue Kiss 85. F, Sloppy Gloppy Tongue Daddy 95. Or G, Yummy Pussy Slurp Slurp Potsy Potsy 105. <laughs> I really wish it was the yummy pussy one, but I'm going to say it's the French one. French 75! Victor, you got three points, which brings you to a grand total of five. Right now, the scoreboard is Lauren one, Victor five, Emily two. Emily, Fuck you, Lauren. <laughs> Emily, this is your chance to, to tie with Victor, and then we'll see what happens then, all right? Are you ready? All right. Yeah, I guess. So, Third place is still a bronze, Victor. It, <laughs> you're the only, there's only three people. Shoot right. yourself. Go back to Boulder. Which you of heard. these? Which of these cocktails is real? A, the low ball. B, the mid ball. C, the high ball. D, the distended ball. E, the lumpy ball. F, the biopsy ball. C, uh, G, the single ball. Uh, it's the, wait, you didn't say baseball, did you? Nope, I didn't say okay. baseball. God, well then it has to be C. 
See the highball, Emily. <laughs> you, three, you, you have ran a total of five. You and Victor tied. Lauren came in second place, or maybe oh, third. Oh hell yeah, I'll take it. We'll take <laughs> second place. I'm the I'm the host. I get to make the rules. All right, since it's a tie. Victor, you and Emily, and Emily, you and Victor, you get to win and split our grand prize, which is knowing that you are equally oh. smarter than me and Lauren. That's what fine. Okay. Prize. All right. Hey, I'll take that. Else, I'll take that. Look, our beloved uh, president is in the hospital with COVID. That should be a prize in itself. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Love it. it. Not real or no real. Looks like Emily and Victor tied for victory. Lauren, better luck next time. So I tied for the loser. Yeah, you did well, you great. Didn't tie okay, with anyone, so join us next time. Oh, no, you, Lauren. We figure out who on Hot City's got a peg leg. Bye. Hi, I'd uh, like to cash a check. Uh, sure. We need to cash this check for five hundred twenty-five thousand <laughs> six hundred. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's uh, the musical I'm working on. As you know, we're the uh, we're the chase that's located on Broadway, and if we don't produce a hit musical, the robber, everyone, put their hands up right now. Hands up and start to snap. Even <laughs> <laughs> you, when you're a robber, you rob all the bank. You take all the Fargo to the Wells Fargo tank. moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> Searching all the banks for a hit musical. Hi. Where is my hit musical? Oh, we don't have one, Broadway Joe. Then I'm closing this bank down forever. No! 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 Okay, wait. I have a secret. Oh. I and John Travolta's illegitimate child. He had one steamy summer night with my mother long ago and then ran out on us. And so I've hated musicals ever since. Makes sense. Something's changed. <laughs> <laughs> I love this bank. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. Team Hot City on Lauren Sharp, also from Team Hot City. You know, you usually don't see this kind of thing from Hot City. A hit like that, this early in the season, is just unusual. Oh, looks like there's a flag on the field. Okay, it looks like they're reviewing the play. 
<laughs> oh, let's watch it again. Okay, so it looks like there's an illegal head touch right there. Oh, let's watch that again. You know, the neck grab is, I think, what the refs are looking at there. Again, you'd expect that from a more injury-prone team, like Fever. Wow, it looks like, against all odds, that's a touchdown for Team Hot City. Wait, a touchdown? Yes, that's correct. Wait, how does this work? I don't know. Are we even real? All right. Well, we're just checking in to say hello. Wow. I'm still hello. here. And, we're good. And, we're and also, can here. we say, can we say, wow, Lauren almost fucking died. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> What was, uh, it was the look on the people's face in the front row that I was about to squash. That's that's how I know how I come off to people. Just, Dude, they all split. They all are like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> not catching I, you. I could never do a trust fall and or stage dive. I mean, we miss that kind of intimacy of live theater. Oh, girl. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Which I is love like you should give money to um, mm -hmm. oh. the pack theater at coming in clutch the uh what, what is it um pack dash, at theater. pack dash theater um and we're gonna we're gonna slip back into the uh the actor studio i believe oh we got another one of our I actors getting got interviewed, another huh? another uh, honorable james lifton interview he's uh yes. he faked his death just like tupac shakur so oh james yeah. Silly guy. What a silly mink. So we've got that coming up for you. Hang tight. <laughs> Tonight on the actor studio, we have an actor whose list of accomplishments run long and deep throughout the eternal zeitgeist of the online comedy community. He has portrayed a futurist obsessed with the metaphorical eating of rear ends, a Twitch DJ whose father has recently disowned him, the man Sasquatch himself, and even a man who owns a yacht. Everyone, Victor Olivos. Thank you. Thank you. That character, Bert Yachty, just brilliant. And how did you come up with that name? Well, you know, when I was trying to come up with that character, I knew that his last name should be something relating to the one thing that was most important in his life, that he most wanted to be represented by. And that was the yacht that he purchased. So here to therefore, Yachty became his last name. And then also Bert, I've always just found to be a very fun name to say. Wow, incredible, incredible. And is it true that you've had over 25 likes in one single Twitter post? Uh, yeah. And is it also true that some woman who you are vaguely attracted to but not sure of the name of, once said, commenting on a post of yours on Facebook, Victor is very funny. All that is, is, is very true. Uh, it's, both of those are honestly two of my greatest achievements in life. And I, th two things that I feel I think most, I think most, uh, proud of today. Wow. Still, still so proud of you. <laughs> you haven't asked yet, but, uh, I would like to, uh, just say, uh, twat is probably a word that I, it's a bad word, but I kind of really like it. That, you asked those, uh, I shouldn't have said that, I'm sorry. Now, I believe we are going to show a clip from your character, Bert Yadi. 
Yes, let's play the clip. Wonderful, wonderful. No, you know what? Before I go, I just want you to know one goddamn thing. I worked really hard for that yacht. I mean, do you even know how hard it is to drink bars 24 seven and embezzle people's hard earned money? I don't think you do. I don't think you ever will. What up, 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 no. Okay, yo, you guys. That was great. Oh God, hold on. Give me a second, guys, because I, you know, just like some of my friends, I'm so bad. To, uh, okay, listen, guys. Early on when we did this Twitch thing, I was trying to go like find what was my voice. I was trying to find my voice, and I realized my voice is ass, as our director Joe knows so well. So, guys, enjoy this early, early Twitch sketch. <laughs> most important thing about the future and recruit you in the future eating ass is all the rage eating ass but i'm no cannibal no not that kind of eating silly i meant like ramen or tasting your partner's fudge fountain see the future is the age of eating ass but you gotta rush it in mm. so i'm an ass prophet Oy. don't get ahead of yourself I'm the prophet, you're just a messenger. But our biggest obstacle is the coronavirus. Shh, my pastor's wife is over there right now. I don't drink alcohol or eat ass for that matter, but I'm bored, so what's next? Who am I eating first? Well, see, I must form the mighty morphin ass eaters. Yeah, okay, thanks for coming. Have a good day. See you later, ass. Oh, hi. Find everything okay? Yeah, but my boyfriend can't find my clitoris. I mean, he's hot and listens to me. And okay, cool. Beep. Hey, Marie. Marie. What now? She'd be the perfect candidate for the mighty morphin ass eaters. Okay, fine. Dude. What the hell was that? Huh? What do you mean? The monitor? Well, it's just guy. Well, it's just this guy from the future talking about eating ass hmm. back there. I'm in. Whatever it is, I don't care. I'll eat it. I always eat everything on my plate. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess you have what it takes. You really think so? Thanks. I'm on board. Whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you eat Stu's ass? See you. Okay, how was that? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. But could be better. Whatever, dude. Marie, listen. You are talking to the best ass eater around. This ain't no game. You feel me? Oh, well, you asked me so I could just leave. You understand that? Okay, so that's the world you want to live in? Where your grandchildren can't get two tickets to Ass Mountain without judgment or shame? Oh, give me a break. I just don't like men insisting I bend to their will. I'm an independent lady. I do what I want without judgment or shame. I get it. Eating ass and feminism? Directly correlated. <laughs> ooh, ooh, right there. Hey there, can I help you with anything? Not really. 
Uh, not, not unless you can point me towards DJ Khaled. See, I'm a DJ Khalidian, or worshipper of his holy DJ Khaled. He teaches us the moral ills of eating ass, among other forms of oral sex. <laughs> hmm. Did you say eating ass? Precisely. It's repulsive. It's uh, repugnant. Our holy DJ says so in his teachings. Whoa, that's a lot to dig in. Can I have a minute alone? Why, yes, of course. Uh, I'll just be right over here. <sighs> Benny, what's happening? People will lie to you, Marie. They'll try to convince you that eating ass is not the way of the future. I wouldn't have picked you if I didn't think you were smart enough. Whatever happens, Marie, I know you can handle it. Yeah. Did somebody say Jimothy? No, <laughs> I was just talking to my my friend over there on the monitor. <laughs> it's it's nothing. It's it's nothing really. It's it's fine. A friend who sins with oral sex. What? Can we talk over here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, see, here's where it says that, actually, oral sex, specifically eating ass, promotes feminism. You know, Jimothy, you could learn a lot from that. Wouldn't you like to know all about women just from tonguing their butts? Oh, would I? Jeez, I've been so misguided. <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to steal all your fucking secrets. So, we just want to end our show with a... On a slightly more emotional beat, you know, quarantine has been kind of a rough time. So we just wanted to put together a little in memoriam video for some, some friends and, and family that we've lost along the way. Hi, this is everybody's best friend, Ezra Parter. Uh, I was just woken up by the news that Hot City is celebrating 20 episodes tonight, which, A, congratulations, y'all. That's that's great. I'm, I'm glad you made it to 20. Um, but B, <laughs> Fever's been at 20 forever, y'all. I mean, Fever basically started at 20, 20 weeks in, because we do a show every week. So, I mean, celebrate Hot City as much as you want, but just know, mm, the Fever is better. Da -da -da -da. Yo. Right. As usual, so Fever nice sucks. Did we get any other videos from that people sent in? Did we get any other videos from that yeah, people? Yeah, you cut that early. I think you cut that early, Alex. Or... Uh, uh, what do you mean? We that was yeah. All the all the people that cared about us sent in videos, and I, I played the video we got. Oh, so that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Did Lauren forget to ask again? Did yeah. you not ask any? No, 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 no. We we asked thousands of people. No. <sighs> Okay. okay. Well, yeah, I think got... you're trying to blame it on me, Victor. Okay. We've Come got on. some things Come to on. think Let's about. Uh, we've got some choices to question and things to think about. But you should Venmo at Pack Dash Theater um, and come hang out with us again in two weeks. Uh, we will be doing another show. It'll probably be Halloween themed. <laughs> Good night. Woo! Good night. Bye. Bye, everybody. Fever sucks. Bye.